Hello everyone, welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. My name is Colleen. Today I'm touring an amazing movie reference filled island. This island is by Larissa. Uh, she is on Twitter and Instagram, so you may have seen some little photos of this island before, but it is just absolutely incredible. And for this particular video, because there are 24 movie references, I would be going through this for a very long time and it just would be a lot more fun probably for you if you were to go to the island and check it out for yourself because there's lots of different outfits that you can find, lots of different movie references I'm sure you'll be able to pick out. If you are more of a movie buff or maybe you've studied film or something like that, there are some more, I'll say like less known films uh, that you would be able to find two, which there was even one at the entrance to the island that I have kind of left out because, again, when I was talking to Larissa about the tour, uh, she had just mentioned she wanted to leave some little surprises for everybody. So that is what we are going to do. If you are new here, by the way, thank you so much for checking out this video. I really, really appreciate you being here. Thank you. So right now we were just walking around the yellow submarine and I just realized too, I said there was only one that we skipped at the beginning, but there was actually two of them right near the entrance. So keep that in mind. There are 24 total, which I will not be showing all of them in this video, so. But I felt like I had to include this one because it is just, it's amazing. So this is obviously Karate Kid and i just love it and i love that we are able to dress up and she has the other mannequin facing that like it's just it's perfect i love the little details i was very partial to the very first outfit i found though i do end up changing throughout the video but oh i really love that one So of course we will keep moving along after I just check out this dock here. And this double rainbow, amazing. What does it mean? So once we make it into this little area here, I'm pretty sure you will know exactly which movie we are referring to. But a nice little treat about this island is that all of the homes are decorated, so we get to visit those too. First up, we have Elvis. I feel like his outfit doesn't really fit his name. Or is he supposed to look like a king because Elvis- oh, okay, I, I guess I get it now. Sometimes I just have to say things out loud and then I get it. But in this particular instance, he's not really Elvis. He might be more of a, like a cowardly lion, maybe? <laughs> Marlo is so cute. The gabiche. <laughs> oh. They're too clever over at Nintendo. I love this interior. It's so nice. It matches Marlo so well. Now, if only I had taken the bridge over this way, I would have come across some items, maybe a different outfit that I could have worn, but this outfit works. I think it works for everything. Love how you can see the little <laughs> The feet under there, oh my gosh, it's so, so good. It's so clever. We've got Toto. Ugh. I love it. That's a really great thing too, is she found so many good villagers for the movies that she's portraying on the island. 
which obviously they're not exactly where they're supposed to be, but Tian Cheng kind of does actually fit if he's wandering around over this way. Now, for whatever reason, <laughs> I stood in front of this, this house and I, I didn't go in, which I do end up realizing this and I go in near the end of the video. But I don't know what happened. I just, I looked straight at it and then I forgot. Then look who we found. Can we guess which movie this is from? Because I think I can. Again, just a case of the characters though walking around in areas where they don't completely match. Because I'm pretty sure we're entering, like, the Emerald City back here. Which, yeah, we definitely were coming into Emerald City. Uh, so I have a friend here on the left that I will be able to visit shortly, just after I get my bearings. I love how green it all is. I know it's an Emerald City, and I know that probably sounds silly, but I just love how green it is. We've got Curlos. That's kind of a tough name to say for some reason. I forgot that these, like, I don't even know what those machines are. They look terrifying. But yeah, I was going to say I forgot that they existed because from the front they look so innocent. And then from the back, you know, just a little bit, a little bit scary. Speaking of a little bit scary though, who likes horror movies? I have notoriously been terrified of every single sort of horror movie or game or anything up until maybe a year ago, <laughs> which is really sad to say because I am a big old 30 years old. But yeah, it was just too, it was too scary for me. Not so much anymore, but <laughs> it's, Clearly I've been working, I've been working on it, okay? Because the art and the work that goes into these sorts of movies and the ideas and the effects is just incredible to me. I absolutely love it. So <laughs> I've found that watching videos of like how they're made, the behind the scenes, that sort of thing, kind of pulls it from reality from me, which makes it a little bit easier for me to consume. Because I think when I was younger, just seeing a horror movie without any sort of context of why those things were happening was a little bit too much for my brain. My brain takes those things very, very literally, so. But you might have seen a little bit of a clue, a little bit of a here's Johnny. This house is just so cool. It is so cool. Larissa, I know you're watching this. It is so cool. <laughs> and honestly, while I'm on the subject, if you do like horror movies or you like learning about the little behind the scenes or figuring out the, the numbers in certain horror movies, uh, you should check out the channel Dead Meat. Uh, they do like kill counts, podcasts. They've been interviewing a lot of different like actors and directors and just members of crew. Like it is just, it is a great channel if you're interested in movies and the things that go on kind of behind the scenes. Just very, very good content. Highly, highly recommend. But here is our here's Johnny moment. It's a good thing I've got the sitting reaction, or else it would have looked a little bit silly, but that's okay. It's just so cool. I love it. I can just hear the line happening over and over again in my head. That's ridiculous. And just the red rim on the wall. Oh my gosh. Like, look how good this looks. Like, this is just wild. That custom design they use for the wallpaper, too, is just perfect. It is so perfect. I mean, all of it is. The 
Then we will head down to the basement next. I wish there was a way for us to customize what went on the TVs. That would just be next level. Speaking of next level, so rude. I had a dream last night that Nintendo was like, we were just joking during that direct, you guys. We said no more free content updates. And then they actually released another DLC and it had like a bunch of other items. They let us do like diagonal inclines. And then I woke up. Yeah, it was really upsetting. <laughs> Put a damper on my morning for sure. love this attic though and I think that's the like I think it's a ship deck flooring or something along those lines and it looks so good up in an attic we are back outside don't need this axe anymore we are safe I've got a little bit of a maze going on here too Now, going into our next movie area, does anybody have any guesses? I'll give you one, two, three. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Whoever got it right, good for you. I'm very proud. I'm kind of embarrassed how long it took me to figure out I needed to climb up on just that one piece of cliff, but hey, you know, better late than never. So you can probably tell that I just cut out a bit of a chunk of the island, and that's because it is so cool that you must go visit this island and you have to check it out for yourself because it is a larger section. And it's just really, really cool. Got some Alice in Wonderland going on here. You can kind of tell that by all of the different chairs. Our rabbit friend here. <laughs> Again, another little area that I think I'm going to leave for you guys to check out for yourselves. Now, hmm, what could this be? <laughs> no, of course, this is Godzilla. It's so cool, and I love these, like, big items, which I failed the first time. I just really... Yeah, there we go. So cool. And just a tiny little reference here. Hopefully some people know that one. Got a little Wilson there. Well, that's the, that's the name of the volleyball. So the movie cast away. <laughs> I do that so much. Pick it up, drop it, pick it up, drop it. Just constant. The amount of times I've had to cut that out of videos is just, it's sad. Now, this large portion over here is from the movie Moonrise Kingdom. Now, I haven't personally seen this movie myself, but I have heard good things, so that must count for something, right? And I just really, really like this section. As you'll see in a moment, it does actually spill onto the beach too, which I think is really cool. I just like when builds do that, I guess. I'm not saying that because I also just had a build that spilled onto the beach that was near the dock. So... <laughs> no, I do really, really like this area. No one could ever follow me. I'm way too quick. See? Look at those hops. Now, really quickly right here, we've got Finding Nemo. And then we go into Battle of P 
Potemkin territory. And I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that properly. I googled how to. So if I didn't get it right, blame it on the Google machine, please. But look how cool that is. That is a battleship if I've ever seen one. Tianchang's really just all over the place, huh? I don't know why I thought I could get through there. I really did. I was trying to hop through that little space. I, I don't know why. Now over here near the resident services, we've got Back to the Future, which I guess I should have mentioned that maybe closer to the beginning when I was initially running through there, but Back to the Future, everybody. Just, it's so good. It's so good. Using that rover item is just so smart. Now up here, we have an adorable, adorable Kiki's delivery service area, along with some other things that you will see. Of course, I just need to get a little bit of a look outside. While I was doing that, I noticed I had missed a spot across the river, so that was actually very helpful to me too, because I didn't want to miss anything on the island when I was running around. So from what we can see here, this is indeed from Kiki's delivery service. We've got the dress. It's just adorable. I love it. Now there are a few different movies that are represented in this little house. So I will give some time as we're going through these rooms and you can guess for yourselves. Because like I mentioned, or maybe I didn't mention, but on Larissa's social medias, so definitely on Twitter, and I'm fairly certain it's on Instagram too, she does have a full map with a list of all of the movies. So if you wanted to double check if you were right, or if you wanted to follow along if you decided to visit the island, then you should definitely go follow her, find that map, because it is just, it's so cool. It's just so cool. I absolutely love this room. Having the gyroid just sitting in the tub is just, <laughs> it's so funny to me. And especially this one because of the facial expressions that he makes. Like just... Just enjoy this. All right, now that I've made you sit through that, we can move on to the next room. And just the attention to detail is just so good. It's so good. This game really has a lot of hats, huh? More than I ever remembered, honestly. So we'll head down to the basement. Just again, the details. Just absolutely love this. Then of course, last but not least, we'll head upstairs. Now for the life of me, I cannot remember what that wallpaper is. Is that the, like, the ramshackle one? Because I, I don't think it is. Who knows? If you do know though, if you want to let me know in the comments, that would be nice. I've been wondering that ever since I filmed this. So here is where I discovered all of those gifts right near the bridge. <laughs> I realized I had been missing out. So we'll just get dressed up again really, really quickly here. There we go, much better. So as you can probably tell, I do match this area a lot better now. Although I think it fits the, the Alice in Wonderland uh, area too, a little bit. 
So just heading over to this spot that was behind the Kiki's delivery service that I mentioned I thought that I had missed. That's Tian Chang's house right there. This is our Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon area I was jumping across before. And then just off to the left side here, we have a another little movie reference that, again, I haven't personally seen this movie, but it is the tale of Princess Kaguya. And again, if I mispronounced that, I consulted two YouTube videos on how to say it, so I'm so sorry. I, I did try. <laughs> So just running along the back cliff here, I love this little touch that we have at the back. It is so cute. Because of course this is behind, well technically behind the Shining House, but also behind Emerald City and, and all of that. But then look at what we've got here. March of the Penguins slash Happy Feet. It is just, it's perfect. It's so cute and it's the perfect spot for me to finish up this video here. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Thank you so much to Larissa for letting me tour this amazing, amazing island for a video. And as always, I hope everyone has a wonderful day.